I'm guessing that you probably found me because of my videos on Lure on Board or Touch Portal. And if you've never heard of those programs before, they basically allow you to do things like change scenes in OBS, toggle sources on and off, filters, transitions, posting messages to Twitch chat. I've often compared it to the multi-action feature on a stream deck, except pumped with hella steroids. And you can trigger these multi-actions anytime you get a sub or someone uses channel points or raids you. If you've been watching my Twitch streams for the past two months, you'd know that I recently transitioned to a program called StreamerBot. This has completely replaced the Orin board, Touch Portal, Voice Attack, even Noobs Commander. I wrote Noobs Commander and even I don't use it anymore. So what exactly makes StreamerBot so damn good? Well, let me highlight some of the features for you. Kevin. For one, it supports OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS, as well as having support for stream elements and Streamlabs donations. It has voice controls, so you can control your stream using just your voice like this. Computer, show desktop. Computer, show face cam. Not only that, but you can create and modify all of your different Twitch channel point redemptions inside of the program and this part's really cool because you can even create a kill switch so if you want to temporarily disable all of your channel point redemptions you can do that and that just scratches the surface of everything that streamer bot can do but in case that wasn't enough for you it even has a built-in c-sharp compiler so if you're a programmer if there's something that you want streamer bot to do you can literally program it into streamer bot guys i'm telling you this might be one of the most important videos I've ever made on this channel. Quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Epidemic Sound. If you guys are looking for royalty free music for your streams, for your YouTube videos, or any content that you might be making, Epidemic Sound has you covered. They have an absolutely massive library spanning genres from hip hop and R&B to electronic to country to electronic country now while there are countless free playlists out there epidemic sound has been around for years so they've been able to build up an enormous library that's going to give you so much more variety to suit all of your creative needs they're always adding new tracks and the tracks are really well organized so you can search not just based on the genre but also in things like the mood and the bpm which will really help you fine tune to find exactly what you're looking for but by far one of the most unique things is if you just want the instrumental or just the vocal vocals or just the drum line, you can download them as individual mixes. They're called stems. If you want to sign up for Epidemic Sounds, there's a link down below. It helps support the channel. Plus you get one month completely free. All right, so StreamerBot, did I just waste three minutes of your life? You bet I did. There's way too much to cover in this video. So I'm just going to run you through the basics to get everything set up. And then you can go and explore everything that StreamerBot can do. However, I did do a much longer crash course over on Twitch, which by the way, I stream three nights a week and we're always doing Q&A over there. So come check me out. I need the viewers. I'll be uploading a highlight of that crash course alongside this video. So if you want something longer, something meatier, something you can sink your teeth into, check out that video because we go into more depth about certain features that we're not going to have time for for this video. Plus, you get to see what StreamerBot can actually do with a live Twitch chat. All right. So, all right. Let's install StreamerBot. First off, you're going to need the OBS WebSockets plugin. If you're using something like Lure on Board or Touch Portal, you already have this installed. But this is what's going to allow StreamerBot to communicate back and forth with OBS Studio so we can do things like changing scenes and toggling sources. Then head on over to streamer.bot. That is literally the URL. So if you go into Chrome and just type in streamer.bot, you'll get the website for StreamerBot. Just click the download and then extract it to wherever you want on your PC. When you open up StreamerBot for the first time, this is what you should see. Now, bear in mind, if you're watching this video like 40 years from now, the interface may look a little bit different. But the first thing that we need to do is get all of our different accounts connected. And we're gonna start with connecting StreamerBot to OBS. So we're gonna come over to the OBS tab, right click, and then we're gonna add a new connection. Here we need to put in our port number and password. If you've used Lior on board before, you already know what this is, but in case you don't know, check into OBS here and go into the tools and WebSocket server settings. The port number and password here needs to match exactly what you put here inside of StreamerBot. Also make sure to check auto connect and reconnect so that 
streamer bot doesn't need to connect to obs every time it starts up then we'll right click on our new connection click connect and if we did it right over here on the right you should see a list of your sources that you should have inside of obs now if you're using slobs you can do pretty much the same thing you come over to the slobs tab and you just right click and add or alternatively you could just uninstall slobs that's also an option. Next, we need to connect our Twitch account. This is so that StreamerBot can see all of our different channel point rewards. And also so you can send messages to chat with the chat bot. So we're gonna go into settings, click on Twitch accounts, and then click connect to Twitch. It's gonna give you all the stuff to, let, let's be real. You're not gonna read any of this. Just click authorize. And that should be it. Now your Twitch account is linked to your streamer bot. Just click on auto connect and auto reconnect so that every time you start up StreamerBot, you don't have to do this again. You can also set up a second Twitch account just for sending messages in chat. If you've ever used something like Nightbot or the Streamlabs bot, anytime that you use a chat command, it usually responds back using like the default Streamlabs account. It's similar to that, but you can just set up your own account. So just sign up with a brand new Twitch account whatever name that you want and then click connect to Twitch here and sign in using that account. This part's optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I, I'm going to skip this. And then finally, if you're using Streamlabs or Stream Elements for donations, you can connect your Stream Elements account here so that anytime someone donates to you, you can make stuff happen on screen. So now that the boring stuff is out of the way, let's start making StreamerBot actually do things. So we're gonna come over here to the Actions tab. And the Actions tab is where we're gonna spend most of our time. This is where you set up all your different multi-actions. So let's say we wanted to create an action to switch scenes or play a sound effect, or if you're really advanced, something that does this. <laughs> This is where all of that happens. Now we still need to think about how to trigger these actions. So like things like subs and channel points, but we'll come back to that later. This tab is focused solely on the things that we want streamer bots to do. So we'll set up a really simple action for now. We'll just right click add and we'll give it any name that you want. We'll just call it test and we'll leave everything else at default for now. Then on the right side, you'll see the sub actions. This is where you set up all the different commands for our multi-action. You right click, you'll see all the different things that StreamerBot can do. So we have things like hotkey presses, we have perform command. So this would be things like opening up programs. You have things like all your OBS actions here. So changing scenes, toggling sources, filters, that sort of stuff. You have your things like sound effects. You have things like sending messages to Twitch chat and setting your game, setting your title. There's even a section called rewards. Now this is actually really cool. Using StreamerBot, you can actually disable different channel point rewards that you have set up on Twitch, but you can even change the cost of them. You can even set up a kill switch, like I said earlier, to disable all of your different channel point rewards from the click of one button. Oh, and for you programming nerds out there, Here's the C-sharp section here. So you can literally write your own C-sharp code to do whatever you want all within StreamerBot. Not gonna go into too much depth here because it's too advanced for this video, but if you're a programmer, check out the StreamerBot wiki because it has all the different methods that you can call from the C-sharp code here. Because trust me, this part, this part's insane. For our first action, we're just gonna keep it really simple. We're just gonna add an action and we're gonna play a sound from a folder. And then you can just click the test button. <sighs> to see what it does. Now that we've created our first action, we can start thinking about how to actually trigger these actions. So do we want our viewers to type in a chat command or maybe when someone spends channel points or gives you a certain number of bits? So for example, let's just say somebody wants to trigger our sound effect by typing in a chat command in Twitch chat. Well, then we come over to the commands tab and we'll just right click and add a command here. And then we can just say in the commands field, if we type in maybe anytime someone types in Pepega, what action we wanna run, we'll select our test command. So anytime someone in Twitch chat types in Pepega, it should run our sound effect. So we're just gonna click okay here, come over to Twitch chat and type in Pepega and press enter and you should have heard the sound effect. We'll type it again. Uh, All right, that's cool. Now, what about bits and subs? So for bits and subs, you come over to settings, go over to events, and here you can see all of the different Twitch events. So you've got things like cheers, subs, you even got gift bombs, raids, community goals. Just select the events that you want. So we'll do cheers because we want bits. And under the generic type action, we're gonna select our action 
And over here, you'll see a test button. So we can put any number of bits. Let's just say 69. And when we hit the test button, that should simulate exactly what would happen if someone were to give me any number of bits. Now, in this case, because we set the generic action to our test command, this is going to happen no matter how many bits anybody gives me. But what if I wanted to only activate for a specific number of bits? Then underneath the cheer ranges, I would just enter in a range. So 69 to 69, add that, and then we can select the action here. And now we'll just get rid of this here. Anytime we get exactly 69 bits, it should run our action. But if it's any other number like 420, nothing should happen. So I would encourage you to look through each of the tabs here. They have their own similar style pages with their different ranges and different tiers for subs, depending on what kind of event it is. So you can just go through. It's pretty intuitive to figure them all out yourself. But what's really cool about Streamerbot is unlike things like Lioran Board, which only support native Twitch actions, it even has stream elements and stream labs donations natively built in the program. So if you wanted to have things activate when somebody gives you actual real people money, you can actually have that activate here too. Okay. So what about voice control? This is one of my favorite things about Streamerbot because you can actually control OBS entirely using just your voice. Just selfishly speaking, this is really useful for me because like I'm a lazy ass, but I can also see this being really practical and useful for someone who has disabilities or have limited mobility and they can't easily click on their OBS window or click on a button on their stream deck. I actually did a video a while back on voice control using a program called voice attack, as well as a program that I literally had to write myself called noobs commander. This is really similar, except it's all built directly inside a streamer bot. So it's way better. Plus on top of that, the setup for voice control is insanely simple. So you just go into the voice control tab and then go into settings. And then under input device, you just need to select whatever your microphone is and then click start listening as well as auto start listen. So you don't have to do this every time you start up streamer bot. And now if you go into the log tab, it should be recognizing every single word that I say. Now we can go over to the commands tab and just add a new command. We'll call this one test. And anytime that I say the word, um, mommy will run our test action. Mommy, <sighs> mommy, <sighs> mommy. <sighs> Yeah, you can see that it clearly works. All right, so what if we want to set up a hotkey to run all of our actions? Well, they actually just added a new hotkey feature just today. I literally waited for this feature to come out before making this video. That's a lie. I actually procrastinated for an entire month to make this video, but I'm going to say I did that on purpose. So there's a new section here called hotkeys. Just go to hotkeys, right click, add, and select any key that you want. Let's just say, you Anytime I press one, we can add some key modifiers. Let's just say Alt one and just select the, the action that we want. Press OK. And when I press Alt one, it runs our action. <laughs> Finally, I saved the best for last channel point rewards. I think this will be the thing that most of you will be most interested in. Dreamerbot's implementation of channel point rewards is about the best implementation I've ever seen amongst these types of programs. So if you come over to Streamerbot and go into the channel point rewards tab, you'll see all of your different channel point rewards. These are actually the ones that are inside of your Twitch account. So if you go over to your Twitch account into your dashboard, all of the different channel point rewards that you've added here are going to appear in this list inside your streamer bot. This is what takes streamer bot to a whole nother level for me. What you're probably used to if you're using something like Leoran board is you have to come into your Twitch dashboard and then manually create all your different channel point rewards and then go back into Leoran board and then link up and make sure they have the same matching name. And that process is just too, too long and just is too cumbersome. Here's how it works inside of Streamerbot. I'm gonna open up my Twitch chat so you can see my list of channel point rewards. And then we're just gonna go and create a new channel point reward. We're gonna call this one test reward and you'll see it immediately pops up in our channel point list just instantly streamerbot not only created the reward but it also automatically linked it to our twitch account and it doesn't stop there because if i wanted to i can right click i can disable it and you can see it disappears from the list and then we can re-enable it we can also right click and edit and update the cost here to let's just say 420 and it automatically adjusts the cost 
right on the fly but it gets even better because if i go into our actions we can create a new action we'll call this test two and under sub actions under rewards we can enable and disable all our different channel point rewards instantly and so if i wanted to i could create a kill switch by adding all our different rewards so we're gonna add let's just add the test reward here so that's to disabled and in theory we could do this for every single channel point reward and hook this up to a command and then through a voice command or through a text command on our twitch chat we can quickly disable every single one of our channel points however there is one catch and i go into this in more detail in the crash course video so i recommend watching that streamer bot is not able to update or modify any channel point reward that it did not create here's what i mean here's a reward called lame reward I did not create this inside a streamer bot. I created this directly through the Twitch dashboard. So if I right click it, I can't disable this. And if I edit here, I can't change the cost of this channel point reward. It's all locked down. This is because streamer bot did not make the reward. And it actually tells you on the right hand side, it says this is not owned, which means it's not owned by streamer bot. So streamer bot cannot have control over the reward. This is just an annoying limitation of the Twitch API. So unfortunately, what you're going to have to do once you come in and use streamer bot for the first time is you're going to have to go through every single one of your rewards, create a duplicate, then go into your Twitch dashboard search for the duplicate that you made and delete the original version then come back into streamer bot look for the copy edit it and then remove the word copy and if you do that now i can disable this and i can change the cost and change the global cooldown and all the different settings here this is not streamer bot's fault this is a limitation of the twitch api every single third party program is going to have the same issues so it's going to suck but you're going to have to go through one by one all your different channel point rewards make a duplicate then you delete the original one and then continue so on and so forth keep in mind that twitch has a limit of 50 total channel point rewards so don't just go crazy and duplicate every single one of your channel point rewards because if you have over 25 then you're gonna run out of slots so yeah you're gonna have to do it one by one anyway with that long explanation out of the way we can actually tie all our different actions to each of these channel points so that test reward that we created earlier if we edit here and set the action to our test command press ok now when i go to my twitch channel point section and click on test command press redeem it should run our sound effect there's way more you can do with streamer bot you can even do things like run twitch polls or channel point predictions directly inside a streamer bot and we didn't even get to talk about things like the quote system or timed actions or pyramids but like i said if you want to see examples of all these different features and more advanced things that you can do inside a streamer bot check out the crash course video that i did again posted alongside this video if you need any help setting up streamer bot we do have a discord i just created a new streamer bot channel so if you want to ask for help there ask for help there's also the main streamer bot discord if you want to ask the developers directly and if you want to see more of what streamer bot can do in action again i do stream three nights a week on twitch come watch me there we do things like crash courses all the time and it's a great place to see things that i would never make youtube videos on and of course there will be way more videos on streamer bot so stay tuned subscribe i don't like asking people to subscribe but i want to see if this actually works okay so let's make that happen and i'll see you guys in the next one